Hi, my name is Miguel. This is a simple tutorial on how to reset Windows 10 local user account password using PC Unlocker. With PC Unlocker, you can reset Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, and Windows 10 local user account password, including Windows Server 2003 through Windows Server 2016 administrator password. You can find the link in the description box below. We will need to create a bootable unlocker disk or USB. To do that, you will need to have access to another computer other than the one you are locked out. There, download PC Unlocker. When you download PC Unlocker, you'll be downloading a zip file, just like you see on the screen. We will need to extract it to expose the content. To do that, just right click the zip file and select Extract All from the context menu. I'll be extracting it to the desktop and I'll show extracted file when completed. When I click on Extract, it'll extract the folder containing the PC Unlocker ISO. This is what we need to create that bootable disk or USB. For this tutorial, I'll be using a USB, but not to worry, I'm also going to show you how to create a bootable disk. So, insert a USB to the computer, then go to this PC. Memorize the drive letter, in this case is drive letter I. If you want to create a bootable disk, then insert a blank disk to the computer. To burn that PC Unlocker ISO onto a disk or USB, I'll be using ISO to disk program. You can find the link in the description box below. It's free and once you download, it'll download an executable file. Here it is. Once downloaded, all you need to do is just double click to install. Extremely easy. I'm even going to show you how easy it is to install. Double click the executable, click next to the wizard, leave the destination location default and click on next. Here again, next. Make sure create a desktop icon is checked. Next again and install. That simple. I'm going to check mark launch ISO to disk and click on finish to run the program. I'll close the windows behind, not to distract. And here is, again, very simple. Now we need to browse for that ISO we just extracted to the desktop. Once there, you can double click to select or select it and click on open. To create that bootable disk, all we need to do is check burn to CD DVD and from the drop down, select the, the disk burner. I'll be creating a bootable USB. So in my case, I'll select burn to USB flash drive. And from the drop down, I'll select the drive letter I, which is my USB. And then click on start burn. A message will come up, letting you know that all information on that USB flash drive will be deleted and replaced with the PC Unlocker files. Make sure you insert a blank USB or you have backed up any information inside that USB flash drive and click on yes. Once you click on yes, it'll immediately start burning that ISO onto that USB. Once done, Click on OK, exit the program, and you have successfully created a PC Unlocker bootable USB. If you go to this PC, you'll notice that the USB name changed from USB to PC Unlocker. Now eject the bootable media you created and insert it or plug it in to the PC you were locked out. 
In this case, as you can see, I can't access my PC. I totally forgot my password. You will need to restart this PC and access the BIOS to change the boot sequence to boot from that bootable media you just created. So I'll click on start. Upon restart, you'll see a screen that comes by really fast. So you need to pay attention to it. In this case, to enter BIOS, I need to press the delete key. All computers are different. In your case, it might require a different function key, for example, F12 or F11. So pay close attention to it. In my case, again, I'll click on settings, boot section. Even though our computer might be different, the boot section is on all computers. Here, I'll change the first boot device to boot from a USB. If you created a bootable disk, then select the first boot option to be the CD drive. Once done, press F10 to save settings, or in this case, X out and save settings. Once you save the settings, it'll immediately auto reboot and boot from that first boot option you selected, whether it's the USB or disk. You'll be prompted with this screen. This is extremely simple. Whether you're using a server operating system or Windows 10 like I'm doing it now. All you need to do is just select the user and then click on reset password button. In this case, I'll reset the password for Miguel and click on reset password. I can enter a new password or leave it blank. For this tutorial, I'll leave the password blank and click on OK. Once you click OK, you'll be prompted with this little pop-up. You have reset the password for Miguel. All we need to do is just remove the bootable media, again, whether it's the USB or disk, from the computer, and then click on Restart. Click on Yes to confirm. And because I didn't set a password for that user, it'll go immediately to the desktop. So you have to successfully remove the password from that account. In case you added a password, then enter the new password. Thank you for watching.